When we compare engineering fields, most of them are pretty old. Both mechanical and civil engineering have been around for thousands of years. Nuclear engineering, on the other hand, isn't even a hundred years old. Nuclear engineers research and develop the processes, instruments, and systems used to derive benefits from nuclear energy and radiation. Should you become a nuclear engineer in 2022? Later in this video, we will cover the history, wages, demand, and more of nuclear engineers. In 1939, nuclear fission was discovered by German chemists Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann. Physicists and scientists around the world immediately realized the implications of this discovery. Led by Italian Enrico Fermi, later known as the architect of the atomic bomb, the first nuclear reactor was completed in 1942 at the University of Chicago. This was known as Chicago Pile 1. Later in 1942, in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, the Manhattan Project was formed. Robert Oppenheimer and his team developed the first nuclear weapons, the Fat Man and the Little Boy, dropping them both on Japan in 1945. After the war, nuclear energy started being used in other capacities. In December of 1951, in Arco, Idaho, EBR-1 becomes the first power plant to produce usable electricity through fission, a site you can actually visit. Then in 1954, Russian-born engineer Hyman Rickover helped the U.S. Navy construct the USS Nautilus, the world's first nuclear-powered submarine. Only six years later, in 1960, the USS Enterprise set sail, becoming the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. And even today, 62 years later, there's only one other country that has a nuclear powered aircraft carrier that would be France, and it's called the Charles de Gaulle. Today, there are 40 different departments in North America offering programs in nuclear engineering. And nuclear engineers actually tend to like their jobs. Payscale did a survey of nuclear engineers and found that 67% are satisfied with their jobs and 67% believe their work makes the world a better place. Most people spend about a third of their entire life working in a single occupation. If you choose the right career, those 90,000 hours will be enjoyable, meaningful, and potentially lucrative. For our seven-step process on choosing a career, check out the link below. Next, we're going to go over the job market. What kind of job can you get with a degree in nuclear engineering? Nuclear engineering today is a very small niche engineering field. In the United States, there's currently 12,760 employed nuclear engineers. It is nowhere near as big as mechanical engineering, civil engineering, and industrial engineering. And there's far more employed software developers as well. And unfortunately for the nuclear engineering workforce, the number of employed has been dropping for years. In 2016, there were 17,680 employed nuclear engineers in the United States. By 2021, the nuclear engineer workforce shrank to 12,670 employed. This is a loss of around 5,000 jobs in a pretty short period of time. And to understand why this is happening, we first need to understand the five industries nuclear engineers tend to work in. The first being the U.S. government. In the United States Navy, there's currently 71 nuclear-powered submarines and 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. Nuclear engineers are employed to maintain these ships and develop new ones. In fact, there's a couple new aircraft carriers being created. There are also some nuclear engineers working on spacecraft for organizations like NASA. Generally with the government, you can go in through the military or you can join as a civilian. Nuclear engineers can also work for a utility company at a nuclear power plant. But unfortunately, many nuclear power plants have been closed recently and many are scheduled to be closed pretty soon. Okay, this particular article is a map of nuclear power in the United States. This is pretty recent. This was released in April 7th, 2022. And this is kind of an interactive map. If you hover over active, you can see where all the active nuclear power plants are. Unfortunately, all the gray ones are scheduled to be decommissioned in the next decade or two. And the, but there's also some possible nuclear power plants that might be created in the next uh, couple of years, but these are possibilities. I know the one in Georgia might be coming online fairly soon. So this is one reason why nuclear engineers have been seeing less and less job opportunities. Other than working for a nuclear power plant, nuclear engineers can also work in the healthcare industry, the agriculture industry, and they can work in research. Just keep in mind that of all engineering fields, the government's future job growth projections for nuclear engineering are dead last. They're not anticipating any growth. Just like in other engineering fields, to become a nuclear engineer, you need a good grasp of mathematics and physics. To go along with that, you also need good problem solving skills and a good grasp of the scientific method. Nuclear engineers also tend to have certain personalities. According to the Myers-Briggs company, the most commonly found type 
found in nuclear engineers include the ISTJ, the inspector, the ESTJ, the director, and the ENTP, the debater. Meanwhile, the most likely Myers-Briggs types to become a nuclear engineer include the ENTJ, the commander, the ENTP, the debater, and the ISTJ. To become a nuclear engineer, you really do need a bachelor's degree. Occupational experts were asked what kind of education you need to become a nuclear engineer, and here's how they responded. 85% think you need a bachelor's degree, 7% think you need a master's degree, and that 4% should be actually 8%. But definitely before getting a master's degree or a PhD in nuclear engineering, search in your local job market, look at different job postings, and really try and figure out what kind of degree you need to get the job that you really want. So how much money can nuclear engineers expect to make in 2021? In 2016, the average base salary for a nuclear engineer was $105,950. In 2021, base salaries rose to $121,760 from 2016, but between 2020 and 2021, base salaries for nuclear engineers actually dropped by over $3,000. And this could be because of layoffs last year within nuclear engineering. Yet even with this drop in average base salary, nuclear engineering is still the fifth highest paying engineering field, with number one being petroleum engineering. There's also certain metros that tend to pay more. And this is a really random one. In 2021, the highest paying metro area for nuclear engineers is Idaho Falls, Idaho, where the average base salary is around $144,000 per year. Another more expensive high paying metro for nuclear engineers near the top of the list is New York City, where the average base salary is $134,530. As you can see, there are some pros and cons of choosing nuclear engineering as your future occupation. Nuclear engineering is one of the most lucrative engineering fields out there, but there is some uncertainty with the job market. In the future, if more and more nuclear power plants get shut down, that's definitely going to impact the employment prospects of nuclear engineers. In many ways, this is a public policy kind of issue. A lot of people are very scared of nuclear engineering. They're scared of nuclear power plants. And this is mostly because of Chernobyl. This is because of Fukushima and other incidents related to uh, nuclear power plants. Are you a nuclear engineer? Let us know down in the comments below what you enjoy about this occupation and what you dislike about this occupation. And what is your stance on nuclear energy? Are you very, very pro nuclear energy or do you think every nuclear power plant in the United States should be shut down? Let us know down in the comments below. If you need help choosing a career, check out the link below. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.